Open sesame. CR2, the door won't open. I'm pretty sure that I actually changed the password last week, but I'll go ahead and give it a try. A purple monkey dishwasher. Yeah, nothing. Forget about it, R2. We will do the show inside of the workbench area. I just gotta find everyone. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're going to be building the Yamoto from the Metal Earth Iconics Collection. This is our second battleship here on the show, and these builds are filled with detail and tons of parts for us to complete. I'm not going to lie to you out there either. This build has been really difficult for me in the last three weeks. The first thing, well, I was involved in a hit and run where I was hit from behind on my motorcycle and I flew a couple of feet. Now, I only had some mild bruising and some really good road rash, but about a week later, this would be the second thing, I was hit with a really bad bug. I was really sick, bedridden with antibiotics. I even lost my voice for a little bit there and I was able to do some building, but I would be lying to say that this particular video is where I wanted it to be. And if you're confused or have any questions throughout this build, just make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have about this build. All right, I think I've given everyone enough excuses here as to why this video is late. Let's get down to the workbench and take a look at the package. Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Metal Earth Iconics Yamoto Battleship. And take a look at how big this thing's going to be. And look at all that detail we have to form too. This might be a very long build. And yes, the uh, package got a little bit squished during shipping, but I think the metal should be okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, we get a brief look at our metal, followed by a look at our finished build. Then, just below, we have some instructions on how to build our model. And on the right here, we have a QR code, which we can scan to get a 360 view of our ship while we're building. This can be very useful for different parts of detail that we have to form. Then, on the right here, we have a difficulty rating of just over a medium. And then, at the bottom here, we have some history on the Yamoto battleship. And finally, at the bottom, we get a look at some other Iconics builds. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. There we go. We have our instructions. And looks like quite a bit of instructions. And we have all of our metal. In a very nice sleeve, too. One, two, and three sheets of metal. Awesome. Groove Builders, let's get our first couple of parts. And just like that, Groove Builders, we have all of our parts needed for steps one through six. Let's grab part number one here and begin forming that little front area just by bending this down and following that seam with a bunch of small bends.
And there we go. Our first six steps complete. Now we're gonna need more parts. Okay, there we go. All of our parts needed for step seven through 13. Let's get started with some cylinders. There we go. All right. Now we're going to need more parts. And there we go. We have all of our parts needed for steps 14 through 20. Now let's get started with part 38 and form out its sides.
And just like that, we finished all of our parts needed for step 20. So we're gonna need more parts. And there we go. We have all of our parts needed for steps 21 and 22. Yep, only two steps with these two pages, but there's quite a lot to form here, especially with a lot of small detail. Let's go ahead and start with our first piece here, which is piece 57. Look at this too. It's really nice with all of that etching. Pretty cool. All right, let's grab part 58 and start forming our cylinders here. It looks like I'm gonna need some tools. That looks awesome. And that detail wasn't too hard to form, although it did get a little tricky with some of these bits down here. All right, Groovers, let's get out some more parts.
Wow, that was a lot of parts to cut out, but we have all the pieces needed for steps 23 through 27. Now, a lot of this detail is repeated from earlier, so I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of that, but before we get to those pieces, let's get started with piece 75. There we go, all of step 27 complete. That was a ton of detail. 
But now, we're gonna need more parts. And just like that, we have all of our pieces needed to build the Yamoto. Now we're going to be adding all the pieces we built from earlier onto this main deck. But first, we're going to get started with part 70 here, which we did a few times before. And we did it, Groove Builders! We built the Metal Earth Iconics Yamoto! And this build looks awesome with all of its detail and, of course, its silver, gold, and red coloring. If you're looking to build this at home yourself, there are a few things you're going to want to know. Let's talk about those things in construction. The first thing we're going to talk about is all of the gun detail here on the left and right side of the Yamoto. There's quite a bit here, and it can be a little bit repetitious. If you're not careful, some of these guns can look a little bit off, especially if you're rushing through them. My recommendation is to get some really good tools to help you with the forming. Some detailed tweezers, preferably the sharp pointy ones, are great for these guns. And also a really good mandrel set will help you get a really good uniform look. The second thing I want to talk about when it comes to building the Yamoto is about all this detail here that we place onto the deck. Some of it can be very close together, and getting it into its proper assertion hole can be a little tricky too. My recommendation is to start with one side. So let's talk about the center here. If we're starting with the center here, I'm going to insert the left side first, and then work my right side into the insertion holes. If I need to, I can use my detail tweezers and actually grab those tabs and place them into the insertion hole, making it a lot easier for me to make all the connections I need to do. 
You can also wiggle the detail around a little bit, but I really want you to exercise caution with that move. You don't want to accidentally scratch the surface here and negatively affect your model. The third and final thing I want to talk about is the bottom of this boat. This can be very frustrating, especially with these two tabs here on the front and their insertion holes. My recommendation to make this a little bit easier on you at home is to take some detail tweezers and put them on the inside of the boat just enough so they force the metal apart. This will allow you to put the two tabs on the front where you can secure them and then slowly bend everything else into place. I found the majority of the back went in really well once I got these two into place, but you definitely do have to start here. If you don't, I'm afraid you're going to have a really messy front end. And with that being said, Groove Builders, let's move on to build time. The Metal Earth Iconics Yumoto took me just over eight hours to build, according to all the shots I did with my camera. I did build this over several days. So after a little bit, some of the detail kind of blurred in my mind with some of the other detail that I did in the past. I think if I sat down and really put my mind to this, I could have maybe completed it a little bit quicker. But it's always important to remember, especially with these bigger builds, it's never a race. Some of this repetitive detail can really make you want to work fast, but if you do, you will find yourself kind of misforming some things. I know that I personally forgot a few pieces throughout the build, and if you watch very closely, you'll see places where I had to take things apart and reshape them or completely miss an area of the build, which I'm not even going to mention what part that was, but that was all because I was sick and of course trying to push things on as fast as I can. You should never feel pressure to do a build. These things are a lot of fun to do. And of course, the enjoyment that you get out of them can be a lot. So take your time and of course, enjoy what you're doing. And finally, Groove Builders, my thoughts. The Yamoto. This build was very interesting. We have a lot of parts and a ton of shaping to do. But when everything comes together, you really do have a nice size ship that looks really awesome. The instructions for this build are incredibly easy to follow, and I found that only by my own hand did I make mistakes. If you were watching closely during the build, you probably saw a few times where I accidentally put a part in the wrong spot, didn't form a piece correctly, or completely forgot about a part and had to go back and make it look like I did nothing wrong. That didn't happen. But of course, I was sick. Being at home, if you're attempting to build this, you really need to know that you need to take as much time as possible with it. All of this detail here does count towards the end, and if you rush through it, you will be disappointed. And that's why I really can't recommend this build for new builders out there. If you're new to metal model building, there is just so much detail here, I think you might find yourself getting frustrated, and then you'll be really mad at what you end up with. And that's why I recommend this for builders out there that have a few builds under their belt, and maybe want to try something a little bit more difficult. Alright Groove Builders, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the Yamoto with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. Now, I gotta go figure out the password for the door. Oh, lemon drops.